of a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Nikon D5600 – The Most Features Starting off, we have the Nikon D5600. It's pretty affordable, convenient to use, and has all the features needed to make your photography experience much more enjoyable. Let's check it out. I have to praise the camera's live view autofocus performance, which was super responsive and just awesome in every aspect. Quick and powerful, reaching the levels of a mirrorless model here, it also combines well with the performance of the LCD screen with the touch controls. Just tap on the screen and it focuses automatically. One of my favorite features of this camera is the snap bridge feature that works well with all modern smartphones out there. I should state that the amount of detail captured by this camera is just perfect right to the corners of the frame, even while combined with a lacking lens. The white balance and exposure levels of this camera are celebrated as well, and the autofocus combined well with everything to make it pleasant. The Nikon D5600 is packed with the 24.2 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor that we've seen in other Nikon cameras on our lists because it's just so good. The low-pass filter is just excellent as well, and it provides a nice sensitivity with clarity and no noise at all. Packed with a great starting lens, you'll have a lot of fun with this camera, especially outdoors. Number 4. Nikon D3500 – Best for Beginners Moving on, we have another great product by Nikon, the D3500. This one is a great camera that offers amazing features along with excellent picture quality. It's very easy to use and feels very comfortable in the hands. I should also mention that the battery life of the D3500 is just amazing and can take up to 1,550 shots. It has many other superb features that you might want to look at. It is a light, small and capable camera that offers a lot. It has a beautiful design, and it has a redesigned button layout on the rear that handles well the accidental pressing of buttons that you didn't mean to. This camera has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and an ISO range of 100 to 25,600. It can shoot continuously at 5 frames per second and is capable of full HD 1080x60 pixel video shooting. It has plenty of picture control options. There are seven modes, vivid, standard, monochrome, neutral, landscape, flat, and portrait. When it comes to battery life, this camera has one of the best battery lives. It can last you for days if you shoot through the optical viewfinder. In conclusion, I'd like to say that this camera does a great job for beginners and for everyone who likes DSLR cameras. You should check it out and see if it fits your needs. Number 3. Canon EOS Rebel SL3 the most versatile. Canon is one of the biggest camera manufacturers in the market, and it's one of the oldest ones to still be in the game. I can say that the company has delivered some super solid cameras throughout the years, especially in the last few years, where none of its models have been amiss. The company's best entry-level or beginner-focused model for this year is the Canon Rebel SL3. This small and lightweight DSLR comes with a great performance and an interesting set of features that'll make this camera super attractive to anyone, but especially beginners. The Canon Rebel SL3 is a nice autofocus system which performs excellently despite being pretty dated by now. It packs a 9-point autofocus system that's arranged in a diamond pattern, good for most cases, but isn't the best for moving objects or super close shots. The Dual Pixel CMOS AF system allows you to position the AF point in 3,975 different areas around the screen for better performance. This camera is packed with a 24.1 megapixel APS-C sensor that goes hand in hand with the amazing Digic 8 processing engine, responsible for delivering super beautiful photographs without skipping a beat. Overall, the performance is perfect for entry-level users as it'll teach you a lot about photography and will allow you to have plenty of fun in the process. Number 2. Canon Rebel T6 – Best Runner-Up One of the best cameras for vlogging is the Canon EOS Rebel T6. This company is the best camera manufacturer in the market and it's one of the oldest ones to still be in the game. I can say that the company has delivered some super solid cameras throughout the years, especially in the last few, where none of its models have been amiss. It has plenty of features that will make this camera super attractive to anyone, but especially beginners. Moving on, the Canon EOS Rebel T6 has a great set of controls like in every camera in the company's lineup, and it has a great hand grip for handling it properly. I should mention that the LCD screen flips out and is super responsive to touch, allowing you to take great control of the camera. 
and the viewfinder perfectly complements everything right with the device. It has an 18 megapixel CMOS image sensor and high performance Digic 4 Plus image processor for amazing speed and brilliant quality. The processing engine of this camera is responsible for delivering super beautiful photographs without skipping a beat. Overall, the performance is perfect for vloggers and beginners as it'll teach you a lot about photography and will allow you to have plenty of fun in the process. If you want one of the best in terms of vlogging, you should consider taking a look at this beast. Number 1. Canon EOS Rebel T7 – Best All Round One of the best budget DSLR cameras in 2021 is the Canon EOS Rebel T7. This camera is the predecessor to the EOS 1300D that we talked about before, and it comes with all the improvements that make it a perfect camera for your needs. Let's check it out. Like the T6, the new EOS Rebel T7 is one of the smaller DSLRs on the market. It weighs 1.75 pounds with the battery and SD card and measures 5.1 by 3.9 by 3.1 inches. The Canon EOS Rebel T7 might have a plastic build overall, and it hasn't changed much in terms of design, but it has all the good features of its predecessor. For example, the super deep hand grip that has some nice texture to it. One of my favorite things about this camera is that it has a great body balance and works great even when combined with super heavy telephoto lenses. The autofocus system is the same as on its predecessor, a classic but exceptional 9-point autofocus system that's done wonders and will continue to do so. The most important thing about this camera is its amazing 24.1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor that delivers some exceptional detail. The noise is controlled perfectly and the dynamic range is perfect overall, the best for its price. Buying Guide Focus System After the ISO range, you should check out the focus system of the camera in question since it'll present the accuracy needed to shoot in such circumstances. It doesn't matter if you have the perfect ISO range or the best sensor on the camera, the results will be subpar if your camera can't focus properly on the subject. So choose the camera with the best autofocus system that your money can afford. Don't just choose the system that has the most focus points, but preferably ones that have cross points or hybrid systems that combine the best of both worlds. Price The biggest mistake those who buy a camera can make is to choose the most expensive body and the rest of the money spent on some inexpensive lens. This is the wrong decision. If you want to get great high-quality images, you need a really good camera lens that can cost even more than your camera sometimes. Ergonomics This is an understated element of cameras. If at all possible, try before you buy. Make sure a camera fits comfortably in your hand and that it's not so heavy that you won't want to carry it around with you. A camera you buy should offer quick accessibility to the most commonly used functions, and menus should be simply structured, logical, and easy to learn. Much of this is subjective, so we recommend getting hands-on with different models 